Political subdivisions, you may not know what they are, but you deal with them every day. And on election day, one of the amendments could change how they do business. Here's exactly what you will see on your ballot for proposed amendment number three. Do you support an amendment to permit, pursuant to written agreement, the donation of use of public equipment and personnel by a political subdivision upon request to another political subdivision for an activity or function which the requesting political subdivision is authorized to exercise? ULM political science professor Joshua Stockley explains this question on the ballot. Political subdivisions, i.e. state and local governments, cannot just loan out equipment to another subdivision, another state and local government, unless they receive something in comparable value. So let's say a city would like to borrow a bulldozer. They cannot borrow a bulldozer from the parish without receiving something comparable in return. If you vote for the third constitutional amendment, political subdivisions can borrow and lease equipment without receiving something of comparable uh, value. So you can just loan the bulldozer and they don't have to give you anything back. To see more on this amendment, as well as the other amendments on the ballot, go to our website, arclitexhomepage.com, and click on Local Election HQ under the News tab. For your local election headquarters, I'm Randy Ayala. And WVLA, three, two, one. To see more on this amendment, as well as the other amendments on the ballot, go to our website, brproud.com, and click on Local Election Headquarters under the News tab. For your local election headquarters, I'm Randy Ayala. And KLFY, three, two, one. To see more on this amendment, as well as the other amendments on the ballot, go to our website, klfy.com, and click on your local election headquarters under the News tab. For your local election headquarters, I'm Randy Ayala.